Oh, it's a clock working with no power. Why are we concerned about that? We need to be like leaving. It's pitch black. The cat's doing weird, creepy stuff. Why are we legging out a window? I got told not to take this cat home, so I'm gonna. You're not having a great day as usual. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for that. I mean, I am. I'm having a great day, thank you. Oh, it's raining. Ugh, a great. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out. But in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Oh, typical, but maybe this is just a sign that you should have stayed home today. Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow, right? You turn to head home when? Oh! Huh? What was that? There are only a few people around on the street. Makes sense due to the increase of missing persons around the area recently. Oh, that that doesn't sound good. Well, that and clearly the weather. Yes, well, it is raining. I don't like rain myself, so. But none of them react to the sound at all. Curiosity guiding your steps, you follow the sound to the entrance of a dark, dingy alleyway. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, where, <laughs> where I want to be, clearly. You timidly enter the alley and walk forward. The ground dampened by the rain makes your steps sound louder and more confident than you actually feel. <coughs> Finally, the sound's source comes into view in the cold, dim lit alley. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box. <gasps> oh, look at the beautiful little kitten! <gasps> Is a cat. Oh, huh. Guess that should have been obvious. It's an interesting looking cat. Uh, it's pretty yellow eyes shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. Oh, look at it. It puts its front paws up on the edge of the box and looks up at you. Oh, how can you not take that home? Oh, what? What? So, so, so cute. And it definitely knows it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they know. They know they're smart. You've never had much of an opinion one way or another about cats before. But if they're all like this one, it's a shock they haven't already found a way to rule the world. They do. They literally do. We let cats walk all over us. You don't think you'd mind bowing down to the feline overlord? You look around the alley with a small frown. Who leaves a cat in a cardboard box these days anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? The cat doesn't answer you. Are we expecting an answer? Obviously. Oh, okay then. <laughs> It also doesn't do as you suggest and leave the box. It's just looking at you as if waiting for you to make the next move. Yes. Well, I said I'm going to take the cat home, so I'm going to take it home. Okay, I'm not leaving the cat there. I, I don't care about disappearing people and stuff like that. It's probably fine. You know what? You reach into the box and pick up the cat, holding it in front of you. Why not? Ah! Oh. You're all alone and, well, I'm kind of in the same boat myself, so... You bring the cat close. You didn't realize it was shivering until just then. Oh, but it slowly breathes easier as it presses into your chest. Why not stick together, right? At least for a little while. Oh, you think a little while will probably be more like a day. You'll be responsible and take it to a shelter tomorrow. But for now, let's get you out of the rain, okay? Meow. Yeah, I, have, I think so too. You stop by at a small local pet shop for some cat food, then head back home. Good, because we've got to feed the cat. I mean, that makes sense. You live in a modest apartment. The cats are allowed, right? One bedroom, one bathroom. One that you've been living alone in it. Ah, oh, good, good. I'm all on my own. No wonder why I picked the cat and the cat found me. So it feels weird having another living being inside it after so long, even if it is just a cat. After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you watch for a moment as it curiously explores the new environment. Leaving the feline to its own devices, you set about making the both of you some dinner. Ah, oh, can you make me some while you're at it? That would be great. You take out the can of cat food and open it. You put some cat food on a saucer and click your tongue to call the cat over to you. Ah, oh, will the cat like it though? Because I, I feel like some of them are just like, no, you've got to feed me certain food and then I will eat it. It perks up at your beckoning and rushes over. It looks at the plate of food. Is it, is it gonna eat? Oh, right, I guessed right, yeah? It completely ignores it. Not hungry, I guess, huh? You try to not let it bother you. The cat doesn't understand the concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard-earned cash on it and I decided not to eat it. I feel the same way sometimes when I buy something for the dogs. It's just a cat after all. 
I'll just, um, I'll, I'll leave it here if you get hungry later, okay? I'm having a conversation with you because the cat's going to know, right? The cat rubs its body against your legs with a purr. You smile. That's enough of a thanks for you, I guess. It follows you into the kitchen as you start on your own dinner. You decide that you have enough ingredients for a sandwich. Bread toasted, mayo and mustard spread, turkey and cheese and lettuce perfectly placed. Oh! Ah! Did I just, did I just hurt myself? Ow! You wince as you cut your finger on the knife while slicing the tomato. Ugh! So stupid! You feel a little embarrassed for such a blunder and sigh, tossing the knife onto the cutting board. You're about to head up to the bathroom for a bandage when the cat hops onto the counter. Oh, thanks. It sniffs at the knife and meows almost pointedly at you. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't worry. I'm I'm all right. I just, uh, it was just a... Uh... Oh, what? You watch as the cat starts to... Starts to what? Lick lightly, but enthusiastically at the blood on the knife. <coughs> well, I mean, to be fair, cats cats can eat raw food. And, and usually there's blood in that. Okay, well, I'm just going to ignore this. Okay, your blood. Yes, I got that. You're so shocked that by the time you come to your senses, the knife has been completely licked clean. Okay. The cat sits back, staring at you. I feel like I'm going to be its next victim. You feel a little uneasy. Sure, cats are meat-eating predators, but that was a little bit weird. Sure, you're no cat expert, but that definitely... Was not something an ordinary cat would do. Right? That cat's got it out for me. Well, regardless, you're not about to abandon a cat in need. Why, well, it's still raining outside. Not after all your efforts. All you did was go to a pet shop and buy like a little bit of food and the cat just is just here. What kind of effort have you gone to so far? Why are you going to take it to the shelter tomorrow anyway? What's one night of awkwardness? Weird or not, it's just a cat, or so we think. The rest of the evening, unfortunately, goes downhill from there. Oh, fantastic. Should I be saving now? Can I? Oh, yeah, there's lots of empty slots. I'm going to put that there. Even after covering up your finger, the cat keeps trying to lick the wound. Oh, well, I should just think, well, the cat's trying to look after me. The cat's like, oh, no, you've cut yourself. Oh, no. Oh, no, I, I will make sure and lick it better. That's what cats do anyway in dogs, you know? While you're eating- oh, while you're eating the sandwich. Okay, well, maybe not then. That's- that's not quite convenient. While you're cleaning up the kitchen. Well, okay, this is, this is a bit weird then. While you're trying to watch TV, you gently push it away every time. But you're starting to get worried at the strange behaviour. What if it's got a taste for blood and thinks you're food now? You're not so sure what you'll do if it starts to get more aggressive. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner untouched okay oh okay starting to get a little bit more aggressive now oh come on enough already you shove it a little more forcefully this time out of annoyance you feel bad immediately but before you do anything the cat meows sharply at you and dashes around the corner into the hall oh at this point you're just worried that it's going to take a bite out of you when you're asleep Maybe a vet will have an idea of how to calm it down. You can only hope. Mm, yes, we can only hope. You don't really have many other options left other than tossing the cat in the rain. Hey, that is still an option, okay? After finding the number of a local vet, you pick up the landline and... Well, that was a bit rude. Did we just get a power cut? It was a power cut, right? The lights just... went out. Great. Just great. Rain must have knocked out the power. You check your cell phone only to find that it's out of batteries. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Really? You must have forgotten to charge it before leaving out earlier. Well, that's convenient. The outing had been so spur of the moment that it had no doubt messed with your usual routine. You grab your flashlight and turn it on. Oh, hello. I'm not really seeing much here. It's quiet. Too quiet. Did the rain stop? But then why did the power go out? Well, that is a thing, isn't it? That is the question. You look outside. The sky is pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. What? What time is it? The cat sits on top of your digital clock, staring at you. Yes, I can see that. Also, anyone noticing what it's trying to say there? He keeps saying help and kill. And I think he keeps coming up with 666. I love this. So glad I brought this cat home now. 
thinking, now you realise the clock shouldn't be working at all with the power outage, for the numbers are lit up and going completely haywire. The cat stares at you, it's completely still. You'd think it was a statue if you didn't know any better. It's not giving off any indication that it's alive. It's not blinking, it's not even breathing, but it's eyes. Yes, it's lovely golden eyes that we loved earlier. This, this isn't normal. You're afraid. You want to run, but you're afraid of letting the cat out of your sight. I'm gonna say right here. You consider tossing the cat out after all. But then, what's happening to my vision? As soon as the thought enters your head, you feel a sharp urge to vomit. Oh, what, why? What? Those eyes. Its eyes hold you still, even with your flashlight trained on it. Its pupils are large, round and keep. Pits. The flashlight flickers. What did it do? What's it doing? It's not going to be in my face, is it? Oh, no, that's even worse. Now I don't know where it is. Fear immediately grips your mind. The silence punctuated with the rapid pumping of blood in your heart is overwritten as your ears slowly start to pick up the sound of static all around you. How is the clock working with no power? Why are we concerned about that? We need to be like leaving. It's pitch black, it's weird. The, the cat's doing weird, creepy stuff. Why are we legging out a window? You don't know why such a question matters at this moment. It doesn't, by the way. But you feel as if having the answer will make sense out of everything that's happening. It won't, you just need to leave. That order will be restored. No, it won't be. But no answer comes to mind. You back away from the clock. Good, that's at least a start. But you're afraid to move. You're afraid to even take a breath. Okay, that's not good. But you can't stay still forever, right? No, of course not. Whatever is watching you, you can already feel its impatience. It's too eager. You don't know how you know this but you can sense it as clearly as if it had whispered. Let's... Oh my God, it just whispered in my ear. Ah! Right into your ear. Right into your soul. Okay. It won't let you wait it out. Not that you could even if it did. You can't stay here. You have to run. You have to do this. With this thought, a sudden primal instinct awakens within you making you tear yourself into a hasty burst of movement, of action. But you're still weak from the fear's grip on your mind. Your legs tangled together under you in the haste and you fall to the ground. Oh, oh, what just happened? A sharp pain explodes in the center of your foot. At first, you think you've broken your ankle, but something warm and wet trickles down the length of your foot pulling underneath it. You hear the sound of metal scraping on the tiles after skidding across the floor as if it had been kicked. <gasps> well, what was the knife doing on the floor? Winded from your fall, you look up in a daze and see the object glinting in a strange light coming in from outside. The light pouring in from your now open front door. Why is the front door open and why weren't you already out of it? Thoughts of how, when, who, what, in regards to your open door screech to a halt, as your brain finally identifies the metallic object you've been staring at. It's your kitchen knife. And still tinted red from your earlier blunder? But that, that's not right. Wasn't it completely licked clean by the... <gasps> what? You gulp dryly at the pain in your foot. You barely have time to wonder how the knife ended up on your living room floor to be stepped on instead of resting on your cutting board in the kitchen where you'd left it. Oh, hi, I see you've come back. I'd rather you didn't. When you spy something in the darkness just beyond the knife, it spies right back at you. A pair of glowing golden eyes come forward as the cat emerges from the shadows into the light from your doorway. Hi, I see you're getting closer, I'd rather you didn't. It pads lightly over to the knife as if skipping in delight. Yes, ah! And bends down to lap at the blood, dripping from the blade. Ah, ah. Uh. Your senses slowly begin to overwhelm you. The chill of the air 
as it starts to suffocate you under its weight. The sound of your shaky breaths discordant against the static now piercing your skull. The dryness of your tongue spreading to your throat. The incomprehensible sight of the stray you've taken in that we really probably shouldn't have done. Licking away at your kitchen knife once again completely clean. The scent of blood from the fresh wound on your foot. How did... You can't... I don't understand because, you know, it's not like the, the knife just sort of stands up like that on the floor, is it? Which means that the cat somehow managed to do that. How, how did it... I mean, it's only got paws. What else can it do? Blood? Is that what you like, cat? Golden eyes slide up to you as if in response to your sudden realization. Blood. You're hurt. Your foot is bleeding. You're bleeding. You're bleeding. The cat barely moves, shoulders twitching, as if just considering the act of pouncing forward. Please don't, please, please don't. But you're already on your feet and out the door. You run, or rather limp, down the empty streets. The sky is black and bleeding red. What, how is this happening? But there's a strange lie emitting from nowhere that casts everything else in white. The houses, the trees, the road, even you. Everything, except your blood. You can just barely glimpse the bloody imprints your injured foot leaves in your wake with every impact it makes on the ground. It hurts. But you can't stop, you don't stop. Not when the shadows grow around you. Not when you feel the gaze of eyes all over you. What has this cat done to me? Not when the road ahead of you is darkened by a long shadow of something behind you. Even then, you don't stop running because if that's the cat right there ahead of you, then... Then what? What in the world is behind you? Oh no. Okay, I'm saving here. Hold up, I need to save here. So either I can look behind me or keep on running. All I keep thinking is that possibly behind me is a giant one of these cats and it's just gonna swallow me whole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna look behind me. Actually, it doesn't say run, but I'm gonna look behind me. Is that, was that a good decision? Huh? Interesting. How very, very interesting. What? Ending zero, it begins? That's all I had to say? What was behind me? I've just gone and clicked on the other option and that just came up with the same thing. Something happened, you think, anyway. You can't really remember what. There is 40 endings in this and yet both of those options just came up with the same thing. So it really didn't matter which one I'd pick then. Okay, I'm loading up the game again. You're walking. Right, of course. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out and you're actually glad you did. Oh, it's one of these games. It's one of these. It's different. This isn't what we got last time. The weather is absolutely perfect today. That's a good sign, right? Maybe your luck is finally starting to turn around. Is it though? You allow yourself to feel excited for the possibilities of where you could go or what you could do. Maybe even who you could meet. You're so deep in thought that you almost miss it. Okay. Huh? What was that? Curiosity guiding your steps, you follow the sound to the entrance of a lonely alleyway. The sunlight only just manages to reach down in between the tall buildings either side. You timidly enter the alley and walk forward, the loose gravel and scattered debris on the ground softening your steps. Oh, finally the sound source comes into view. Okay, and let me guess, at the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box, is the cat again. So does that mean if I took it home, I'd get a slightly different ending? And what happens if I don't take it home this time? So I need to, oh, I need to save, right? I, I wanna explore the option of if I don't take the cat. I assume that nothing happens. You look so familiar, right? Have I got like some kind of knowledge? Then again, it is a cat. Not many different ways for a standard black cat to look after all. This one sure is a cutie though. Oh, I bet. Just look. It's not glaring at you or hissing at you for getting this close like other stray cats have in the past. It's just sitting there, patiently, waiting for you to do something. 
Yes, for you to make a decision that I am definitely going to save right now. And we are not going to take the cat home this time. Sadly, as cute as the cat is. Hmm. You'd never take this thing home with you. Thing? Thing? What? You just can't take it home with you. You're a responsible adult. Yes, I am. Totally. I'm so glad the game recognizes that I am. You are. With rent and bills to pay for, not to mention you need to buy food to survive too. There's no way you could care for a cat long term, right? You can barely afford this little outing on your day off. Okay. I don't care. I don't care how much you meow at me. I'm not doing it. You creepy, creepy cat. What to do? Oh! Right, I'm just gonna save again over here. So I can leave the cat still, can feed the cat, play on second thought. What is question mark? Right, if we leave the cat, that's gotta be shortest ending, right? So leaving the cat. You don't think it's a good idea to get the cat's hopes up of having someone look after it if you're not willing to commit. What if it gets attached and somehow tracks you down back to your home? Well, that's a little bit creepy. What? What was that text there? Sorry, see you around, I guess. You stand up, the cat watching your every move. You make it halfway out of the alley when the cat meows. Oh, it's looking a little bit sadder now, isn't it? Wow, it ri right. It really, really wants to give me like loads of different options here. So I'm still gonna ignore it. That's it. Nope, nope. You need to nip this in the bud and then get on with your day. It's what's best for both of us. It really is, by the way. You leave the alley and continue on your way. Wait, what was I doing? In all the excitement of dealing with your fairy dilemma, you'd forgotten that you still hadn't decided on what you were gonna do for your day off. Okay, this is no longer about the cat somehow. Ooh, funky music. Go and watch a movie. Go to the carnival. Go to a dog park. Hmm, which one would I like to do? I have not been to the movie. Oh no, I want to go to the dog park, Kylo, because, you know, it's out and walking and fresh air and it's so nice outside. Why would I go watch a movie when it's it's lovely and sunny? going to save again. I can see why there's so many, so many little uh, save bits. Right, go to the dog park, because why not? You decide to take a stroll in the park or something. The only one within walking distance is a nearby dog park. You think it'll make you feel better. First, you get to see a cute cat today. Now you get to see a cute dog. Several of them, in fact. The park is bustling with owners and their canine companions. Playing frisbee, fetch, running, jumping, even napping. Such cuties. Whatever. Whatever? Well, I'm happy about it. Like you'd want anything to do with these mangy marts. <gasps> I have three of them. I have cuties. They are my babies, okay? Oh, what's wrong? You didn't think that. What? You decide to move on. The dogs are also adorable. You want to pet every single one you come across. But you know, not all owners are cool with strangers just walking up and manhandling their pets. Yes, and you shouldn't anyway. Not all dogs appreciate it either. So you stroll around the path trying to exude a welcoming aura that will beckon one of these cute dockies to you. Ah, yes, that's how it works. You don't have to wait very long. Oh! Oh my gosh, you're adorable! You stop as the smallest, cutest puppy you've ever seen. Scampers up to you, blocking your path. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, but who's picking these options? You know what? I don't know what picking up the puppy's gonna do. And I'm really paranoid that these are all really weird. I'm gonna leave the park now. I think that's safe. Wait, what, what did I just say? I didn't see it in time. If I, wait, hang on. If I do that, yes, leave, leave the dogs. Stupid, what? Now what? I guess I'll go to the carnival then. That sounds more fun. Yes, spending the day at the carnival. Ferris wheel, roller coasters, ferry boat, rides you've been on before, hoops and coin toss and balloon darts, games you've played before. Okay, this I'm seeing a theme here. Funnel cake, popcorn, cotton candy, food you've eaten before. All the things you've enjoyed before. You're surrounded by groups of people all having fun together. Laughing, playing, eating, taking pictures, making memories. And then there's you. You. The sun hasn't started to set yet. Still high in the sky, but it will soon. You start to wonder if maybe you should just go home for the day. When you stop in your tracks. You see something. New. An attraction you've never seen before. Oh, okay, sounds good. Oh, a maze of funhouse mirrors. I 
do not like those. They freak me out on so many different levels. It sounds kind of lame, honestly. Yeah. There isn't even a line to get in. So does that mean we're leaving it? But then, what else is there to do? Oh, do something else, enter the maze. We're gonna enter the maze because why not? You enter the maze. What can happen in here? A few rooms in and you notice that all the mirrors aren't all weird. Some just show you looking back at yourself. A little bored, tired, and so very, very, what? So very what? Maybe this was a mistake. Why did you think going into a maze of mirrors was a good idea, even if it was a new experience? I, I can't do this today. You turn around to head back the way you came. Oh! You bump into a mirror. Yes, yes, that's, that's another reason why I don't like those things. Ow! What the? Where's the exit? You try again to find another mirror blocking your way. By the time you're all turned around, you realize the way that you came is completely gone. What do you mean it's completely gone? Hello? What do you mean? Uh, okay. Don't panic. I just have to keep going forward. Right? No, that's not how the mirrors work, but okay. You step through the only opening you can find and nearly trip over something on the ground. You bend down and pick it up. What is it? What's this doing here? In your hand rests a worn looking flashlight. Curious, you flick it on. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how this is gonna help. Huh? The light doesn't look very... Doesn't look very what? Ah, oh, the lights, ugh. Did the power just go out or did the attraction operator forget I was in here? How long have you been in here actually? You pull your cell phone out to check the time or maybe call the police. Let me guess, it's not charged. Your phone is dead, thanks for the reminder game. Love that. You grip the flashlight in your hand. The light it emitted earlier was dim enough for you to know there's probably not that much juice left. Best to reserve it for the worst case scenario and feel your way out. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I'm a confident person, I am. You take a calming breath. <gasps> well, forward we go. Yes, I'm sure that will go well. Oh, hello, darling adventurer. Who is that? Welcome to the mirror maze. Would you like to know how to navigate the maze? All of this started when I didn't take the cat home. What is this? Yes, I need help. No, I don't even know you. No, but I have some questions. Yes, I need help. Let's do that. Oh, once again. Welcome to the mirror maze. You're in a bit of a jam, but don't worry, we're gonna help. You're in good hands. Or rather, good paws. Okay, starting to think I didn't leave the cats. See these cuties right here? They'll be doing their best to guide you through the maze. Aren't they generous? When you enter a room, the emergency light will flash, letting you see the paths before you for a second, and also what lies beyond them. Whenever you see these kind kitties, just go where they are and you'll reach the next room. Unfortunately, they're not the only things in here. It is highly suggested that you refrain from following any of our other guests. What do you mean other guests? This is a carnival. Where are the other people that came into the maze? They can be sneaky or distracting, but they're always hostile. So please take caution when advancing to the next room. Of course, this wouldn't be much of a mirror maze without mirrors. Can they hurt you? Well, no, they're just mirrors, silly. They don't do anything at all. And you can't do anything to them either. Oh, they're just an obstacle you can't pass through. Go left. Do, do I want to go left? Oh, go center or go right. The choice is yours. Come on down. That's how I feel right now, game host style. Though... If you find a room with no helpful kitties in sight and all of the paths lead to a mirror or something else, it's recommended that you stay put. Now for your navigation tools. That flashlight you found doesn't have much juice left. It will only let you get a quick extra peek at your surroundings about five times. So try not to use it all at once. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This is an actual thing thing? Life's free. Hey. Can I be a cat for a bit? I want nine. Room 25. You can keep track of your progress through the rooms. Up to the left. Okay. And your lives are up to the right. You've got three lives, so be careful and avoid the less friendly guests lurking around. Why only three lives, you ask? 
Well, because you're soft and squishy. It wouldn't take much to damage you beyond repair. Uh, uh, it sounds, yeah, okay. And besides, you're human. And humans usually only have one life, yes? And yet, here, you get free! Don't you think you ought to show a little more gratitude? Well, I'm trying, but you're not really helping that much. And that's the end of your tutorial. Now get on with it. Hopefully it was helpful. Are you ready to play? Oh my gosh, I'm ready to play. Can you let me go? Can you turn off the flash, please? This game is too hard. <laughs> Psh, this game's way too easy. Reset the settings. Can you tell me about the maze again? Oh my gosh, that was so long. Please no. Right, I'm ready to play. Let's go, I'm ready. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Go! Oh! Uh, uh, right. Okay, next room. Uh, right. Okay, next room. Left. Okay. Huh. Uh, stay? The room feels off. Just wait. I think something just changed. Oh my gosh, what was that? Did you see that on the right? Right, we're going left. We're following that cap. Okay, things are getting worse. Things are getting worse. Things are going worse. Oh my gosh. Right, we're just gonna stay a minute. The room feels off. Just wait. I will wait. I will. I will. Good. Yeah, things are definitely getting worse. We're in centre. Centre of that where the cat looked normal. Okay, we're going right. Next room. Oh my gosh, that one on the left is terrifying. Right, we're going right. Okay, they're on the right. They're still on the right. I'm expecting to do something wrong at some point. Right, center. Okay, center. Oh no. Do I stay or do I flashlight? Stay. The room feels off. Right, okay, what's changed? Okay, left, left, left. Center. I don't feel like this is helping me much. Okay, center. Okay, left, 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 left. Oh my gosh, I feel like I am going to mess this up at some point. Center again. Okay, we can go left this time. We're coming up to our final door. Left. Oh no. Okay, center. I'm going to stay here. Oh! Oh no, wait, 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 I wasn't supposed to do that. No, I wasn't supposed to do that. Oh my gosh, that freaked, I was meant to um stay, stay. You see the exit. Oh my gosh, you run forward, but as you do, the scenery shifts just slightly at first. Okay, oh, we're, we're on a side a little bit, but you're running too fast to stop yourself from colliding into the glass. Except you don't quite go into the glass. You don't exactly collide with it either. You simply pass through it. And on the other side, you see an endless white void. Okay, what the... Oh, what did I do? I see myself. Dozens of you. Hundreds of you wandering around. Aimlessly. Faceless. And empty. So empty and listless, they don't even acknowledge your presence. What? You try to turn back. But the glass doesn't give. Past the glass. <gasps> you! A familiar black cat walks up to you and looks at you. You think it meows at you. But you can't make out the sound. It tilts its head. Then walks away. You! The glass goes dark. It left me there? Then you watch helplessly as it disappears completely. You're trapped with only yourself as company. You beat the maze? I'm, I'm not sure I did. Did I, did I really want to beat the maze? Ending 19. Sally, that's all I've got time for today. And I can't believe it because there's just so many endings and I didn't realize. If you want to find more of the endings, I've left a link in the description for the game. So go check it out for yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go check out this one and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.